Take a look at this spacecraft. How big do you think it is? The size of a backpack? A car? How about this one? Any ideas? What about these green squares? Since most images and videos of spacecrafts are on dark, spacey backgrounds, often with only distant planets or stars to compare them to, it's pretty hard to tell how big or small these things really are. Juno, that's going to crash into Jupiter in 2018, is the size of a basketball court. New Horizons that flew by Pluto is about the size and shape of a grand piano. The new class of GPS satellites that your phone is going to use to tell you where you are, those are about the size of three bowling lanes. But let's go back to this first image. This is the International Space Station. It's the largest spacecraft that has ever orbited planet Earth, and it is huge. We're talking football field huge. From one end to the other, the ISS measures 357 feet. The size of a spacecraft depends on a lot of things. Will it be carrying people? What's it built to do? What equipment is necessary for the environment it will be going to? What's its mission? And so on. One of the main purposes of the space station is to put humans in space. So obviously it needs to be big enough for humans to float around in and have scientific experiments. The ISS's livable space is about as much as a six bedroom house. But that 357 feet includes massive solar arrays that are needed to power the station. Each one of them has the same area as a basketball court in itself. The ISS was launched in 1998, but the original smaller spacecraft, it was just one module. It's been expanded over the last 20 years, but there are some spacecraft that have been on orbit for longer than the ISS, like this gal, she's been orbiting almost 30 years. The Hubble telescope is as long as a school bus. Its purpose is pretty self-explanatory, to observe planets and stars, black holes, galactic events, galaxies trillions of miles away, you know, casual. But to do things like this, the telescope has gotta be super powerful. So it needed to fit an eight foot mirror in there. You can see how huge the telescope is, and right about here is where you'd find that gigantic mirror. Hubble's two solar arrays are each 25 feet long, a lot larger than they would appear just on a black background. Okay, so with that in mind, how big do you think these are? Believe it or not, those little green squares are mini satellites set to launch into orbit in 2018. Each one is only one and a quarter inches across. They weigh less than one fifth of an ounce. The tiny mothership, only as big as a shoebox. As you probably know, space pioneers are trying to travel further and further away from Earth. To prep for that, they need small, fast, cheap satellites that can be sent on suicide missions to explore violent environments in space and test the waters, so to speak, for future more expensive spacecraft. This is why we need these tiny satellites. These are part of the Breakthrough Starshot project. They're so small that they could be propelled by lasers to one-fifth the speed of light within the next 50-ish years, maybe sending them to our neighboring solar system, Alpha Centauri. And it's not just satellites. NASA has sent numerous rovers to Mars. For example, Sojourner in 1997, which is about the size of an RC car, Spirit and Opportunity in the early 2000s, which are roughly the size of small golf carts, and then in 2011, they sent Curiosity, which is the size of a small SUV, and we're gonna send another twin of it to Mars in 2020. That thing's huge. Engineers build these things as big as they need to be, which can mean quite a range of sizes and shapes. So next time you see a picture of a spacecraft, just do some digging. See how big that thing really is. It's not just spacecraft. Pictures of space itself can be pretty deceiving too. Find out how they get those crazy images right here. Which spacecraft would you most like to see up close? Let us know in the comments. Please subscribe and come back here for more Seeker.